Yes, yes, yes. It's an Ernie Nice Old Show with no ISO though. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate y'all for being here, nonetheless. But uh, no, no, you know what I'm saying? On the real, uh, you know what I mean? We do appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for everything. Man, shout out to big bro ISO for all the success that he's had with ISO versus the world, the expansion team, and uh, all the other endeavors that he's going to do moving forward, man. You know what I'm saying? But this is something that I wanted to do to take the time out of the day because the queue... The questions for our Q and A's were piling up, and we got so busy and so consumed with other content that we just, you know what I mean, didn't have the time to address the question and answers. So I took time out of my day to make sure that we show y'all that we didn't forget about y'all. We do appreciate y'all for everything. So this is the solo dolo Q and A. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you know, Big Bro is always here in spirit and heart. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get into it. How we get into it? This one says. This is uh, from, uh, oh, some of y'all starting to leave your name. I, I meant to say that. This is from Jason. It says, Earn and I, so as a lifelong hip hop fan, I've noticed a shift in lyrical content over the years. How do you think the evolution of rap has impacted the culture and message of music? Um, I think that, I think, well, I think you, what your question is, I think earlier on in hip hop, Hip hop was affected by culture. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is how do you think the evolution of rap has impacted the culture? Yeah, I'm sorry. I do think that, you know, I mean, earlier in the years, that hip hop did have an effect on culture. Like, I remember, M excuse me, MPVs was a big thing because Wu Tang Clan, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about MPVs. We, we mimic a lot of stuff that we saw within hip hop. Now I think culture impacts uh, hip hop. So I think it's kind of it's kind of the reverse now, where culture impacts hip hop, not so much that hip hop impacts the culture. You know, I think just like we've been talking about drill rap, and drill rap is something where in the in the culture of whatever now all of a sudden everybody got everybody clicking up and my click versus your click, and now we gonna rap about it. So it's not no more that hip hop impacts the culture, but the culture is impacting hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, both both need to be, you know what I'm saying, uh healed and changed up. Uh this is growing up, my brother and I bonded over basketball and rap battles. What were some of your favorite childhood memories that shaped your love for those these two passions? Um, dang, you said well you said basketball and all that. Um because you know we are from Philadelphia. Shout out to Alan Iverson. It was a big deal for us, you know what I'm saying, when I heard that, you know what I mean, AI was a rapper, you know what I mean, then, you know, Jules, Jules emerged, you know what I mean, 40 bars in the mouth of a crook. If I had to say what would be the memory that I can compare the two, that was a big one. Um, Cole and Cole started rapping, you know what I'm saying, Cole rapping with, you know what I mean, smooth thug with the good hair, you know what I mean, Cole rapping with the with the uh, with the suit on, you know what I mean, shout out to Ablau, that was an Ablau verse, not a Kobe Bryant verse, but, um, yeah, you know I mean that was a big moment. You know what I mean, when you compare the two, um, Jada Kiss rapping for the the basketball commercial. You know what I'm saying? That was a big one. Uh, I remember Freeway rapping on like an NBA Live game. That was that was huge. You know what I'm saying? That was huge for Philly first for one. Uh, so if I had to compare the two and say what was the memories from the merge, you have the merging of both. Those would be the memories that I would have. Um, this is Ernie and I, so one night I was at a local bar and struck up a conversation with a stranger. We talked about everything from our dreams to our fears. A few weeks later, I found out she was my boss's niece. How should I handle the awkwardness now that our paths have crossed professionally? Um, I, I would say like it depends on what you talked about, like, you know what I mean? And plus, a personal conversation at a bar shouldn't, shouldn't affect you, uh, you professionally. I mean, I, like I said, I don't know what you talked about. You know what I'm saying? And if you know, if you talk about everything from your dreams to your fears, you know that could be anything. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be caught off guard like that. Depending on what you said. Hopefully, you know, you didn't say anything about your current employ employer, or you know, you said Denise. So hopefully, you didn't say anything about her uncle. You know what I mean? That 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 you should be alarmed, or you know. Uh, 
not wanting out. And seeing as how she was a stranger, I hope that you didn't go into like, you know, any any deep, dark, like secret type things that you know somebody shouldn't know. But uh yeah. Alright, this is uh last summer I went on a road trip with some old friends. On the way back we had a heated argument that ended with storming out and walking miles to a gas station. That night a kid a, a kind stranger gave me a ride home. We've been talking ever since, but now I found out She's the ex of one of my closest friends. Uh, what should I do? Yeah, I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all questions be so vague and open ended because the the, the question to me look like y'all didn't even do nothing. So what should you do? I mean, don't seem. I don't know if you move forward with something because you know that happened, and then you know what I mean. Something happened. You know what I mean? From that ordeal of you getting the ride home from this person and y'all continue the relationship and then you moved on, you got feelings for this person. It depends on uh, the relationship of you and the closest friend. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not assume the worst, just assume that, you know, you and said person uh, tried to wage a relationship within the situation. You know what I mean? And, you know, uh, which is why you are questioning what should you do? Um... I guess it would depend on, you know, said friend. You know what I mean? Because you said closest friends and... Uh, plus, it's, it's kind of different right now, man. I'm going to say, like, you know, um, me growing up... Man, just me growing up, I don't think that that's something that, you know what I mean? Me and my, my, my little friend circle, something that we did. that we, we didn't do things like that. Well, let me say like this, knowingly, right? And that's that's the kind of weird thing about it because you said uh, she was the ex of one of your closest friends. If this is one of your closest friends and you didn't know that she was the ex, how close is this friend? Because you would assume that if this is a close friend, I was around you while this per said person was around and you know we met each other. If this is a close friend, maybe they, maybe you're not as close as you think you are to this person. Because you know what I mean. Like if you're a close friend, like that's like if I'm like. Uh, uh I, I ran into some girl and come to find out, you know what I mean? Her and ISO was an item and they was about to get married, but I never even knew who she was. Then, nah, I don't think that would ever exist, you know what I'm saying? Because if that's a close friend, you would come in contact with this person sometime within your friendship with, 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 the, with the friend that you with. So maybe it's not as serious as you think it was, you know? I mean, but you know, if, if you feel, if you feel as though the situation is, is something a little murky conversation with the friend talk to the friend and then see how they take it you know what i mean it, it, how, how they handle it is it a good thing is it a bad thing you know what i'm saying and you know move forward like that all right so the next one says all right earn an iso last month i was feeling down and decided to take an uber home my driver was a young lady who turned out to be incredibly supportive. We've been talking a lot and it's developed into something more. The, the twist. She's actually my wife's cousin. What's the best way to handle the situation without hurting my wife? Ooh, wow. That's juicy, juicy. You know what I'm saying? Um, the best way to handle the situation without hurting your wife, man, like, I don't, see, I'm not, I'm not the guy, I'm not the cheating type of dude, so, I don't understand how people move forward in certain situations when they have a situation, you know what I mean, I don't know what you and your wife was going through, which led you to, uh, open yourself up to a person like this, to a stranger, and you know what I mean, become, you know what I mean, Become, uh, I guess, you, maybe you trying to figure out if we, if we, if we an item, if we, if we got something moving forward. Uh, the only way I can say the best way to handle this issue without hurting your wife, I don't know what you've done to this point because you've probably already done something that could lead to already hurting your wife. She can already be upset. I don't know, you know what I mean, what you and your wife's situation is. I don't know the rules of your relationship because everybody's relationship is uh, different. I mean, I don't know the rules of your relationship, what's okay, what's not okay, what, what you're allowed to do, what you're not allowed to do. Because, you know, some people, your wife may already, even if y'all didn't do anything, but, you know, you had intimate conversations with this lady, your wife could look at that as being disrespectful. It could be other relationships where women look at that and be like, well, all they did was talk. You know, so 
it's all in within what in your relationship you know your wife you know your wife better than anybody so you know what things make her uh, upset what makes her tick what doesn't make her tick you know what i'm saying what can i say to her that you know she she'll be okay with and, and therefore i mean and, and moving on so by you knowing your wife if it did get into a situation where you think, yeah, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be disrespectful and she's not going to be able to handle it. I would say you have to make a choice. How do you want to, what do you do? Or what are you going to do moving forward? Are you going to continue the situation on with a friend, with a cousin that you met as an Uber driver? Or do you want to continue the situation on with your wife? You know what I'm saying? Um, FYI, man, the grass is never greener on the other side. There's always problems. Sometimes things just look new. They present themselves new and new. That new car smell always seems better. But there's always problems on the other side. You know what I mean? So sometimes the devil that you know can be better than the one that you don't know. You know what I mean? I know you didn't put in here how long you and your wife been together. If y'all have children. Um, but issues can always be resolved. You know what I mean? So... As, as I can see, you still, you know what I mean, at least have enough the wherewithal to say that you don't want to hurt your wife, you know what I mean? So, if, like I said, if nothing happened and it was only, you know, talking, and the talking developed into, well, talking developed into something more you put in there, you know what I mean, you just didn't put into something more, uh, just let your wife know, you know what I mean? That whatever, whatever happened has already happened. I ain't going to sit here and tell you, you know what I mean, don't tell her. Lie to her, you know what I mean? Let her find out her own. No, don't do that. Don't do that. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's only going to get worse. You know what I mean? Tear the band aid off, man. Sit down with your wife and let her know what's going on. And then let her know who it is. And if you decide to move, you know what I mean? Keep moving forward with your wife. You know, y'all had that, decision, that, that, that conversation as well. If you decide that, you know, look, things came to an end. This relationship is kind of stagnant. It ain't going nowhere. All we doing is arguing. You know what I mean? I'm depressed. You depressed. And I'm going to move forward with your cousin. Then you know what I mean, do that. But the only way I can say that you can you can handle the situation without hurting her any more, further the more, is to deal with it right now. You know what I mean? So that that that's what it is. You gotta deal with it right now. Um this is I recently started working at a new job and I hit it off with a colleague. We've been spending a lot of time together and it get and it's getting serious. The problem I just found out he's also seen another co-worker from our office. How should I handle this love triangle at work? Uh, I recently started working at a new job. Listen, you the new person at the job. The only way that I go say handle that is just to back away from that. You know what I mean? Back away from that. You the new person at the job. Don't be the new person that come into the job and you cause some drama. So, if I was you... I, I, that's a situation I wouldn't even go to. The, I wouldn't even go to the other party and be like, "Yo, I just found out that me, you messing with the same girl. I didn't know. You know what I mean? No, I would just back away from that. Tell you know what I mean, said person, listen. You know what I mean? You got another party, another person in here that you're dealing with. I don't want to be involved in that. You know what I mean? I'm new here. I'm just trying to. For one, I came to work here to get a paycheck. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I came here for. Not all this other extra. You know what I mean? Additives that's coming with the job. So, uh. If I was you, I would just remove myself from the situation. You don't owe it to the other person to even tell them what's going on. The person that, that started this, that knowingly started this love train with the job, you know what I'm saying? That's the person that, you know, does that. But nonetheless, listen, people are people, and I understand that y'all going to do what y'all want what y'all want to do anyway. So you probably, that, that that's the easy answer. That's something that I know you probably already knew. You probably thinking in your head, what can I do, you know what I'm saying, to probably, like, continue this without nobody knowing. So, um, man, you, you have to be careful because you, you the newcomer at the job. You don't know who knows who, who's friends with who, you know what I mean, and, and, and so forth and so on. You put yourself in a situation where you can't talk to nobody at the job because you don't know, well, for the listeners out there, this is from a female. You don't know who this other female is friends with, how close she is to everybody at the job. You can put yourself in a situation where the whole job look at you. Yeah, you know I mean, negatively because they're looking at you as a homewrecker and she's the beloved person on the job. Don't put yourself in a situation like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, you're new at the job. You only go to the job to 
I'm here to get paid, nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. Don't put yourself in a situation where the place that you wanted to get paid at now becomes an uncomfortable environment because that's how you, you know what I mean? Once you realize what was going on, you continued it on. So now you kind of created the uncomfortability that you got to, you know what I mean, deal with. Um, this is, last year I borrowed money from my best friend to start a business. Things were going great until I found out he has secretly been using my money to invest in a risky venture. Now, my business is in jeopardy. How do I confront them and salvage my dream? Or right, hold on, I'm sorry, because you said last year I borrowed money from my best friend to start a business. Things were going great until I found out he had secretly been using my money to invest in a risky venture. Now my business is in jeopardy. I'm lost at how him, because you said that you borrowed the money from him to start a business. Stuff was going great, but then you said he was using your money to invest into a risky venture. Now your business is in jeopardy. I'm kind of lost on this one because it's like this is a back and forth that you know what I'm saying it. I there's no clarity on. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it again because maybe maybe I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying if if, if uh yeah you know I mean listeners for that you know I mean the checking the skill and out if you can help me with this one. Yeah, you know I mean, please leave it in the comment to help me with this one. You know what I'm saying? This is, uh, I borrowed money from my best friends to start a business. Things were going great until I found out he had secretly been using my money. To him. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I borrowed money from my friends to start a business. Things were going great until, no, I still don't understand. Because you borrowed more money from him, but then you say you found out he had secretly been using your money. To invest in a risky, all right, I'm lost. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I said, if anybody, you know what I'm saying, you know, read that question, can give me some clarity on, on maybe it was misspelled. Maybe, you know, because sometimes y'all be writing, man. Y'all be writing so fast and maybe it was written poorly. I'm just reading it how how it was, how it came up on the, on the thing. Uh, last year, I brought money from my best friend to start a business. Things were going great until I found out he had secretly been using my money to invest in a risky venture. Now my business is in jeopardy. How do I confront him and salvage my dream? I'm lost. I'm lost on how, how you borrow money from him and then he using his own money for something that affects you. So I'm lost, like I said. Um, I don't know, maybe you could rewrite that, send it back to us, but you know what I mean? Please, please. You know what I mean, if you write something to us, man, look over it, read it, read it, read it, and read it again, because I'm going to read it the way that y'all send it in here. And sometimes it's clear, sometimes it's not clear, but we can try to decipher it. You know what I mean? I can try to assume what I think that you guys are trying to say. But this one, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm lost on. I'm lost on. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're trying to say for that one. So I'm sorry. Um, if you do have a chance to probably like rewrite it send it back in if i get it then I'll, I'll probably i'll address it but i'm lost on that one right there um this one says earn and i so i met this amazing girl at a wedding and we instantly clicked we started dating and things got serious just yesterday i found out she's been living with her ex-boyfriend should i confront her or just walk away i would say I wouldn't say walk away because it's fresh and it's new. And you don't know her situation. Sometimes people just remain with people because of the convenience of it. You know what I mean? It's people that, I mean, men have female roommates. Um, women have male roommates, vice versa. You know what I mean? Back and forth. So just because this person is somebody that she had a relationship with, it can just be feasible that, you know, listen, we was together. We accumulated these things together. So even though we not together, you know, it's it's more it's more feasible for us to stay together until one of us save enough money up to you know go our separate ways. So I mean, it would be something that I would have a conversation with her about because I mean, it's something that I want to know. You know what I mean? Like you still living with an ex? You know what I mean? And you know, um, what's the situation here? So yeah, like you know, I believe if it's if it's you say she's an amazing girl. Don't waste, don't, don't, don't waste the situation on insecurities that you have in your head because you'll drive yourself crazy without even having a conversation with her. You know what I mean? You'll assume something that could not be true. So I would say talk to her and see what it is. And if you want, if you really, 
can move forward with the faith and understanding that yo, what she told me is true and I'm not going to second guess it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to be here at night. You know what I mean? On a night where I tried to reach out to contact you when you ain't answer the phone. And I'm in there thinking like, oh, they ain't there doing something right now. That's why she ain't answer the phone because she over there doing something. As long as everything is squared away in your head that I trust you and I believe everything that you said. And I'm not going to be insecure. Then, you know, you move forward like that. But if you're like, man, this is too much and I'm going to be second guessing everything you tell me. Every time I can't get in contact with you. Every time I try to reach out and something happen or, you know what I mean? Every time I feel a certain way, every time y'all y'all have like a secret joke and y'all laughing and I'm not in on the joke, it's going to be... So, if you can move past certain things, go ahead, be my guest. But if you can't, I would say, <sighs> you got to do what you got to do. And as amazing as she is, your, your psyche and your well-being, you know what I mean, supersedes all of that. So... As maybe as the person that she is, if the situation that she in is something that you can't move past, I would tell you, you know what I mean, to, to move past it yourself. Uh, this right here says, I recently moved to a new city and quickly made friends with my neighbor. We bonded over music and late night talks, but then I discovered he has a criminal record that he hasn't told me about. Should I be worried or give him a chance? Oh. Oh. The thing about that, man, is that, you know, this, as you can see, this is from a female. You know what I mean? Her, um, you know, she moved to a new city, made friends with a neighbor. I don't understand why people act like certain certain things. They have to be informed on on the initial, you know what I mean, hello. Uh, you said, should I be worried or give him a second chance or give him a chance? That means, you said, or give him a chance. That means you didn't even move to the point where to say, like, we going to try to court we gonna try to date to see where this go. If you just a friend and you a neighbor, of somebody I met, my past is none of your business at the end of the day, for real, for real. I don't need to run up to you and tell you, yo, my FICO score is this and then this and then that and then you. When I was ten, I went through this and then when I was twelve and then let me, I'm gonna let you know that you know what I mean. One of my uncles is this, so if you see them coming over, no, nah. hello, how you doing? And what are we talking about? Did you see the Sixers game? Yo, that Eagles game was crazy. Man, that was a heck of a week one. Something like that. You know, oh, I'm pretty sure there are certain things about your life, you know what I mean, young lady, that you didn't indulge in him. You know what I mean? So we can't nitpick and and question why I was not informed on this. And, and it's weird because you say he didn't tell you that. You might only know, but then I discovered. I wonder how did you discover that? Like, did another nosy neighbor be like, yo, I saw you talking to such and such. You know, bull. Boy got locked up for jaywalking. Like, you know what I mean? People crack me up. Like, how did you even find it out? So you have to be careful on who told me this information. What was their motive in telling me this? Because it could be another hating ass dude. You know what I mean? It could be a it could be somebody that's interested in you that you're not interested in, and they seen that you showed an interest in this person, and now they just want to throw salt in the, in the mix. Oh yo, I, I seen them over there talking. And yeah, you know I mean, I'm I'm trying to get my, my position, so I'm gonna go over there and tell her that he did time and so you gotta be careful, you know what I mean? Because some things, some things is not is not as deep as we make it seem. You know what I mean? Some things is not as deep as we make it seem. And you don't even know that, like you said, you wanna you wanna know if you should give him a chance. That moving forward, if you give him a chance, that he would not tell you. So I would say that, like keep it in your back pocket, move forward, give him the chance, and then see how deep you get into it with him not telling you. Maybe, you know, y'all get to the point where you're like, yo, we already like six, seven dates in. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't even tell me that. So, he may tell you on the first date. You know what I mean? Yo, I didn't know that we was going to get this deep or we would even start doing this. I just thought we was going to be neighbors. You know what I'm saying? You a cool girl. and uh, But now that we moving forward like this, I want to let you know that I dot, 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 dot. You know what I mean? Just put everything out on the table. You could have been a person. It could be a person like that. But... Um, don't let certain things, don't let certain things bother you if we only, the, we only two neighbors. My neighbors don't know everything about my life and I don't know everything about their life as, as it should be, you know? So at the, at the end of the day, you're just my late, my neighbor, you know what I mean? So what you do behind you, but it, when you cl oh, close your doors and lock it, that's, that's on you. Um, let's say, uh, last weekend I was. At a networking event and met a woman who seemed perfect. Damn, she 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 seemed perfect. 
We talked about our dreams and ambitions. I found out she's been secretly dating the mutual friend for months. How do I handle this without causing a rift? All right. Because, you know, this, this is a new era type of thing. And, you know what I mean? You know, me and ISO is kind of old, older. But I do understand that sometimes dating is just a thing that we do to... I, I openly date, meaning that just because I'm dating you don't mean that I'm closed off to dating anybody else. So I don't know how old you are, you know what I mean, or, or what you are. Because I, and when I was young, if you dating somebody, that means you was seclusively dating that person. I mean, I'm dating you, even though... Uh, in, in, a, in, in certain instances, it could be people that's like, yo, I'm dating you, but I still am seeing other people. I'm keeping my, you know, people say, I'm keeping my options open. That was the thing. I'm keeping my options open. So if you the person that you date, you know what I mean? And when I date, you know what I mean? I, uh, I am, I'm only talking to this one person. And the other person, you can't dictate your rules on somebody else if we just date. And... The beauty of it is that if you tell somebody that, yo, this is what I do. When I date, you know what I'm saying? I'm locked in on one person. Is that how you do it? They can be like, no, I'm not. When I date, you know what I mean? I'm open to everybody else until I feel, you know what I mean, what's the best option to move forward with. And you can either accept that or you don't. You know what I mean? So, um, it, the only thing about that is that if she's been dating a mutual friend, um... How, how how far do you want to move in that situation that I could be possibly the guy? I don't I don't know how much this person likes her. You know what I mean? How deep he is into the situation. He could be deep into it. She could just not be. He could be a person that, that I date, you know what I mean? And, and, and when I date, it, it's uh, solely for one person, even though she dates multiple people at, at, at a certain time. And he locked in. And then you be the guy that she decided to go with. Can you deal with certain yummy you know, situations when we all out and this mutual friend pop up? And now you're looking at you like, man, that's the girl that I was dating. We both was dating her at the same time. And you got to understand, certain people look at certain instances different. He be like, that's crazy. He took her from me. Even though the person, the decision that they made was to, I, I made the decision not to move forward with you, to move forward with this person. So even though it's a mutual friend, you know what I mean? It's a friend of a friend. Uh... <laughs> When we have certain events and that friend of a friend is out and we do, me and you, we, we decide to take it the next step. And now it's just really me and you. We boyfriend and girlfriend now and that person is around. Can we handle this situation? Is it going to be uncomfortable? Is that person mature enough to say like, yo, it just is what it is and things didn't work out for us. But I wish y'all the best of luck. So a situation like that, you have to always take in all of those equations and moving forward to say, this will be what it will be moving forward if we decide to you know I mean, move forward together. So, you know, that's that's a deciding factor for you as well that you have to think about. Not just the fact that right now she's dating somebody. She, and it, it say I found out she's been secretly dating. I wonder if you said secretly dating because she didn't tell you or she don't she don't I don't have to indulge to you who I'm dating. You know what I mean? I can date whoever I want to date. I don't have to tell you who I'm dating. You know what I'm saying? Just like if you're dating somebody, you don't have to tell me who you're dating as well. You feel as though, you know what I mean, it's secret because you don't know. Um, because, you know what? Because you, you, you phrased a question like that, that you, you, you put it in there secretly dating, I would say that uh, if it's probably a situation that you probably, you, you know what I mean, you wouldn't feel comfortable with. You know what I mean? Because she seems like a person that's just like, I'm dating, keeping my options open until I find the, the right person to move forward with. And you seem like, you know what I mean? She's doing these things behind my back. When in her head, it's like, I'm not doing it behind your back. I'm just, this is just what I'm doing. There's nothing that I'm doing behind your back. This is what I'm doing. And, you know, I, I, I'm sorry that you feel like that. All right. This is, uh, I was feeling low and took a walk in the park. When I met a guy who was super encouraging, we exchanged numbers and now we've been talking daily. The twist is actually the ex of a close friend of mine. How do I navigate this without betraying my friend's trust? And this is from a female. This right here is kind of weird because, you know, females are super close. So this is a close friend of yours and you didn't know that this person was an ex of theirs. Well, no, I can't say that. You know why I can't say that? Because... The time frame of us becoming close friends could have been this time. And then when you met the person, it was right here. You know what I mean? So 
you there was an ex of yours before we you, me and you even started becoming friends so i can't say that let me not say that um uh how do i navigate this without betraying my friend's trust if y'all close friends and the friend went what's best for you and like i said this guy was somebody that was in, that they were involved with before you two were even friends and moving forward i don't see how it should be a problem for you you know what i'm saying so, I would say, like, it depends on, because you said this is a close friend. It depends on how the relationship was between them and how the relationship ended. Because if it was a cool relationship and we just both ended on mutual terms, it could be something like, yo, I'm, I'm happy for y'all. He's actually a cool guy. You know what I mean? It's that and the fourth. Wish y'all the best of luck. But if it was a, a relationship that was like, yo, oh, my God, he this, that, and the third. He's a dick. He this. Yeah, you know I mean, we ended on the worst terms. It was one of the worst breakups ever. I don't ever want to see him again in my life. Now, that's something right there that you got to be like, all right, because it ended like that. Um, how can I, this being my close friend, how can I, I mean, move forward with him and knowing that there might be certain times where we all, you know what I mean, uh, are together. So I think that's your biggest issue right there. You know what I mean? And you might have to just see, like, how was their relationship? Let your friend know. Like, yo, uh, me and David, you know what I mean? I don't know, you know what I mean? David, your uh, ex that you knew, you know you was with uh, three years before we met, um, somehow something came up and I ran into them. And you know what I mean? Now, we've been talking and going out on a couple of dates. Uh, would you feel uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying, if me and him... Yeah, I made it official or something like that. Would you feel uncomfortable if me and him, you know, kept moving forward? Say it like that. You never know. Some people don't even care. They're like, all right, that's what's up. Wish you the best of luck. You know what I mean? For real. Good luck with that. You know what I mean? Even if even if they in on um, horrible terms, people are like, yo, good luck with that because he did that in third. But you'll find out. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, talk to your friend, man. Communication is the key, y'all. Trust me. Don't be afraid about the situations, man. Pull the band-aid off. You know what I mean? What's the worst that could happen? She tell you that she don't feel comfortable with it and you already have it in your mind like, damn, I can't move forward with this because I don't want to cause a rift in a relationship. If you already have that in the back of your head, you know what I mean? You already prepared for what can happen. Um, let's say, uh, I recently started dating a girl. I met her at a concert. Things were going great until I found out she's also dating my best friend. How do I handle this complicated love triangle without losing my friend? I don't think you would lose your friend on this situation because, look, we males. You know what I'm saying? If you dating somebody and then I come to find out that I'm dating them too, I'm not mad at my homie about that. I'm like, damn, that's crazy, dog. Um, males be kind of different in situations like this, especially if it's fresh. If it's fresh and it's new and we both just dating, you know what I'm saying? I, I know certain situations where guys was like, yo, man, made the best man win. And they kept moving forward like that. They both kept dating the person until, you know, she made a decision to decide who she was going to move forward with. If that's what y'all do, I would say like this, put a time frame on it. Don't just say like, yo, you allowed to date us for uh, five and ten years until you make, why you make up your mind. No, we ain't doing that. You ain't getting the best of both worlds out of us. You know what I mean? Because I know moving forward at some point. If you say we're just dating now, we're just dating now, you know what I mean? At some point within dating, we, we will, you know, sex will be involved in that. So, all right, now you you sleep with my man and you sleep with me. You know what I mean? And then you still trying to figure out. Years later, you still sleep with my man, you still sleep with me. No, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that at all. So, we got to figure out what's going on. Like, it has to be a, it has to be a time a time been on this where uh, you decide what's going on. Because at the end of the day, you got to think about it. The, the ball really is not even in her court. You know what I mean? We could say like, yo, whenever you ready to decide. No. I could just be like, you know what? And I'm, I, this, this ain't what I thought it was going to be. And I'll move on. My homie could be like, you know what? This ain't what I thought it was going to be. He move on. So, you know what I mean? We all got to have that time frame and saying like, yo, at this point, we all just need to figure out what's going on. If y'all cool with that. Or if you're not cool with that, trust me, man. You, there's plenty of females out here that I don't got to. Me and my man, we ain't going to fight over a female. We ain't going to worry about it. We ain't going to deal with it. It ain't going to bother us. You know what I mean? I shake my man hand and say, yo, you know what I mean? Yo, she all yours, bro. I'm going to move on and find something else. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. You know, um, that's the things right there, man. You got to decide in your head what you're comfortable with moving forward. 
If you feel like that situation, I'm not comfortable with that with me and my, my, my friend, because I know how he is, and I'm not going to follow up second fiddle to that. I know how this boy is. He, he, he get wild up in there. I'm not going behind that. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. But best of luck in that situation. Uh, this is, I was at a coffee shop when I met a charming guy. A lot of y'all got, you know what I mean, relationship situations. Y'all almost live in small, small towns, man, where, you know what I mean, there's only a couple dudes and a couple females out there. Um, I say, I was at a coffee shop when I met a charming guy who was down on his luck. We hit it off, and he's been staying at my place. Yesterday, I found out he has a troubled past. Should I keep helping him or cut ties? Wow, all right. So, you didn't tell us the time frame on when you decided to have this conversation with somebody that you met at the, you know what I mean, the, 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 the you said the, that you met at the coffee shop. So when you decided to say, you know what I mean, move them into the house. I hope it wasn't that day. You were in the coffee shop, you were in Starbucks, you meet somebody telling you like, yeah, my, my situation is crazy. What? I got an extra room. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know your last name, but you can come stay with me. I don't even know what's going on with you. Come stay, I got an extra room. I'm lonely? No, so, and you're a female too, that moved another man in there. Um, this is, this is, man, this is, that's a scary situation. And you said, should I keep him or cut ties? For one, I don't even know why you started, why you started to build ties. I don't even know why you started to build, you know what I mean, and, and bring a person into there. At the end of the day, I'm going to say it like this, as a human, I understand that we need other humans to become human. To, to be human, I'm saying, not to become, to be human. What I mean by that is like, I need to have human interactions to understand, you know what I mean, how to become humanistic, how to have sympathy, empathy, you know what I mean, how to learn how to help people, how to learn situations or how to grow, how to have conversations about, you know what I mean, certain people's culture, religion, um, relationships, all type of things. We need, you know what I mean, so I understand we need humans to be human, but, I don't have to be the saving factor in everybody's life. I don't have to, you know what I mean, start taking on all the weight of everything that everybody's going through. And I'm the sick. So I believe to me, as a female, you shouldn't even build ties with another, with a man that you don't know. That's the scary thing about it. It's not like you like, I met, you know what I mean, a, a, a female out there and she was so, she was going through something. So I said, I'm going I'm to help her out. No, you said this was a charming guy. So I don't know if in your head, you were thinking that, you know me, me helping him out can lead to something else. And that's why you were so eager to move forward like this. Not even knowing, you know what I mean, what this guy is going through or something like that. Me, myself, I'm going to tell you like this, like I would tell my sister. Cut, I would tell my sister cut ties. I would tell my sister cut ties. I don't know if you have uh, brothers, cousins, a male, male cousin, something like that. I will put them on, excuse me, I'm sorry. I will put them on alert. Because you don't even know now, because I've been trying to help this person, if it's going to be easy for me to remove them from the situation where I've been trying to help them at. So you may have to call that brother like, yo, remember the guy I told you about? I'm trying to get him out of my house, he ain't leaving. Or I'm trying to get him out of my life, he's not leaving. And now, it's an even worse situation because this person knows where you live at. You know what I mean? They down on their luck. You know what I mean? So they, they, I don't know how long they've been staying with you, but they know your schedule. You know what I mean? You could be somebody that, that I come home and from work at nighttime. So now I'm worried about that. Am I coming home? Is he going to be out in the street lurking while I'm trying to get in the house? Is they somebody that's going to move on? Is somebody I got to deal with now? So if I was you, man, that's something I would, a, a, male, a male family member, I would put them on alert and I would move forward like that. But um, um, you don't have to be, you know what I mean, the savior to everybody's problem. You don't have to be. Especially just meeting somebody right off the bat and just taking on every, you know what I mean, everybody's issues and problems and we don't know the past or, or I don't even know how you got into the situation. You could have been the sole person, sole reason of why you was got in the situation. Some things ain't mistakes. Some things just things that we did self-inflicted on our own self and that's put us where we got to be at. So, um, I ain't going to fraud. I ain't going to lie. This is from a young lady named Nina. Nina, I wish you the best, the best of luck in that situation because I ain't going to front. It's scary. It's scary to hear that you did that. I don't know what, what you found out. You know what I mean? About they, 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 had a, they have a troll pass. I wish you the best of luck. But I'm going to say like this. I would be like, yo, cut your ties. And uh, if you need me to come down there while you cut your ties, that's what we're going to do. 
And you know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, man, I'm, I'm the only boy with nothing but sisters. If I got to come here every day to make sure such and such ain't, ain't harassing you or bothering you or that they moved on. Because you got to understand, some people that you help, you know what I mean? You can't get rid of them. You know, they like they tell you, you know what I mean? When you go to certain parks or a certain, you know what I mean? Certain, don't, don't feed the animals. So, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, don't feed the animals. Um... This is, uh, last month I invested my savings in a friend's business idea. Things were great until I found out. This sounds like the other one that I read. I don't know, maybe this person, see, I got to see the name because the other person read the name. All right, so I, last month I invested my savings in a friend's business idea. Things were great until I found out they had been using the funds for his personal expenses. Oh, no, this is different. The other one was like, they was making like bets and stuff like that. Now my investment is at risk. How do I handle this betrayal? Um, I don't even know it's betrayal. Only reason I'm gonna say it, I don't know it's betrayal because even though you gave them the money for a certain thing, once you give somebody money, you gotta understand that whatever they do with it is what they do with it. I can be like, yeah, you know I'm saying, you know, I can call ISO up right now, like, oh, ISO man, yo, I don't got nothing in there for the kids to eat, man. Yeah, you know I'm saying, big bro, send me, send me a hundred dollars so I can get something for the kids to eat. If he send me the hundred dollars, I take the hundred dollars, I go to the racetrack with it, or I'm down at, you know, what I mean, uh. Philly Parks Casino and I'm gambling it away. He can't really get mad at me because even though I told him I needed the money for this, once you give me the money, I do whatever I want with the money. You know what I mean? That's that's on me. Now, I can't call I can't then lose the money and call you back. Like, yo, bro, the money you sent me for the food, I actually went down there and put it on the horse because I thought this horse was a shoe in. I wanted to double it so I can give your money back and then also I, I'm gonna need another hundred. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. You know what I mean? So I would say for you. I wouldn't, me, myself, I wouldn't look at it as betrayal. I ain't gonna look at it as betrayal, but because you said that your investment is at risk, moving forward, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not investing no more into you. I'm done. We, we, we done from this point on. You know what I'm saying? You ain't getting nothing no more of my money. You know what I'm saying? You ain't doing with it what I thought that you were supposed to, what you asked me for. You asked me for this thing. You doing that thing. You know what I mean? Now, I understand that, you know, in life, that those priorities may supersede what you're doing, but like I said in the, in the last one, those problems ain't my problems. Those problems are not my problems. Now, if you would have asked me for that, and I gave you the money for that, then I'm like, all right, cool. You know, yo, man, rent due, this to do, uh, uh, the car payment due, I'm going to make sure I'm, all right, cool, I got you, here you go. And you use it for that, now I ain't, I'm cool. But you asked me for one thing, and then you feel as though your life took me another route, and I got I to gotta use this money for this. No, that's that's not on me. That's on you. I ain't mad at you, but um, this situation is done. Now, you know what I'm saying, you know, and because you said it was an investment and not a loan, you probably not even looking at it like, damn, I can't even get my money back because I was supposed to be investing into it with some type of equity that I can get back out of it, some type of return, some type of profit that I can get out of it. You know what I mean? So, um, that that can be the reason why you look at it like that because like you like you, you know what I mean. You know, because you, you said I, I'm looking at as an investment, not a loan. So that could be the reason why you're looking at it like that. Like, yo, I, I said that I was going to give you this with such and such percentage return over time. And you know what I mean? So, but I'm going to say like this, man. Um, we know our friends. No, real rap. We know our friends. We know who's reliable in certain situations and who's not reliable in other situations. So... Even though that's your friend, trust me, you know your friend to know, man, I'm going to get this boy this money, man. He ain't never been good with paying his own bills. He going to end up using my money to pay this bill. He going to rob Peter to pay Paul. So, trust me, if it's your friend, you know your friends, man. You know your friends, you know what I'm saying? So, you know who is good for the situation. They going to hold true on their word to do said thing and who not. So don't don't look at things as a betrayal because trust me, we, we know exactly who gonna do what and who not gonna do what. Uh this is uh Ernie Nice. So I was at a family reunion and reconnected with an old flame. We hit it off again, but I found out she's secretly married. I don't know how you're secretly married, but alright. Should I continue this relationship or step back? Definitely step back. Um, listen, you married. You know what I'm saying? Um so that's weird. You said you was at a family reunion. So what friends, what friends 
come to a family reunion, like, you know what I mean? A friend of a family, you know what I mean? We at the family reunion, and, oh, yo, they go such and such. We hanged at that park when I was three. So, unless you were just at a certain type of uh, area, and, you know, they were happen to be at the area, too, as well, because I'm just thinking, like, you know what I mean? Who comes to the family reunion and uses a friend? Somebody that I grew up with. Um... Uh, I definitely would, you know what I mean? Listen, ain't, ain't no questions to that. I'm definitely stepping back. It's nothing to move forward in. Because like you said, if it's a secret, if it's a secret marriage, people are who people are. If you're doing this in a marriage, what am I moving forward on? We have no foundation for me to move forward on. You'll do the same thing to me. What what do I what do I possess as special of me that you're not doing it, you know what I'm saying, that you wouldn't do this over your wife? So, you know what I mean? Because this is from a female. You know what I mean? If this is somebody that you, you took the time to marry, you said, you know what I mean, will you marry me? Y'all went through the I do's, and now you're going out trying to pursue a relationship on top of that. I ain't no more special than that person. I should assume the same, same exact thing. I should, I should assume that you'll do the same exact thing to me. So, yeah, I would say step back. Trust me, man. I ain't, I ain't that special. You know what I mean? If I, if I run into a girl and she come to find out, like, yo, man, she... She was dating such and such the whole time that she was with her. I'm like, damn, well, I am too soon as she going to do the same thing to me if I, if, I, if I sit here and go through this. I can't be surprised. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. I definitely step back, though. Um, I recently started dating a girl who I thought was perfect. Things were going well until I found out she's also been dating another guy I know. How do I handle this without hurting anyone? Uh, you said you recently started. I mean, it's a lot of these man is open, open and shut. I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all, y'all just be. I can see. Um, for one, listen. The reason why we kind of put a hiatus on the Q and A's because a lot of the Q and A's be like cut and dry. Like a lot of y'all know the question, know the answer to the question, but y'all, I guess y'all want to see what our take is. It if we gonna say something that aligns with how you feel, man. This situation right here. You said you recently been dating her, and she also dating another guy that you know. How do you handle this? You stop dating her. It's that simple. Like, don't think you're going to send anything into the Earn ISO show and we're going to tell y'all, like, yo, well, listen, uh, even though, you know, she dated somebody you know, just keep it on the low, secretly date her and do your thing. No, nah, man, no, nah, no. Nah. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Um, in the end, it. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? You you recently started dating her. So, we don't even have anything that that that, that I should fight for. What, 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 am I, what am I fighting to keep, you know what I mean, keep you around for? You know what I mean? And we start out on bad, uh, a bad situation as is. Um, all right, this is last year I lent a substantial amount of money to a friend who was in a tough spot. Now I found out that he's been. It's crazy because I just said something about that. Yo, he's been using it to fund his gambling habit. How do I deal with this betrayal? Y'all love that word betrayal because that's that's in here like a lot. How do I deal with this betrayal and get my money back? Oh, well, your money gone. Your money gone, baby girl. Is it right? And like I said before, we know our friends. So you know if this is a friend that has a gambling a gambling addiction. When I give this person this money, you know what I'm saying? How 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 much do I can I depend on that you're gonna do what you're supposed to do? You have a gambling habit. So you know what I mean? How much of this can, can I, can I, am I assured that you're going to use this money for what you're going to use it for and not on the gambling habit that I know you to have? Uh, you ain't getting your money back. I ain't going to front, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man, me, me and ISO, we told y'all, man, we've been friends for like damn 30 plus years. I can't even remember a time that ISO called me up and ever, ever asked to borrow money. I can't remember a time that I ever called ISO up and asked to borrow money. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. We, we've we never been in a position like that. I'm probably, I'm not going to say I never did. It's probably been Probably been a six weeks. I was like, yo, let me borrow twenty dollars or something like that. I'm pretty sure that I've never exceeded asking him for anything over fifty dollars if I've ever asked him for anything like that. And I can't even think about it. You know, we've been friends for thirty years. Just, just certain things because situations like this do cause a rift in the relationship. You know what I mean? People work hard for their money, and me understanding that that yo, my issues ain't your issue. Even though I know if I go to you, I'll get the help that I need. My issue ain't your issue. You know what I'm saying? I have to figure out a way to get out of this on my own. Because if, if you were the go-to, then you always gonna be the go-to. I didn't feel out, I didn't figure out a way to resolve the issue. All I did was put a band-aid over it. Yo, man, the rent due again, and I don't got it again. Can I? Yo, the rent due again, I don't got it again. The rent due again, I don't got it again. 
I got to figure out my head. Yo, I keep coming up short on the rent. What can I do? Then, you know what I mean? Make up that 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 portion of that, that I never have. Maybe you start doing DoorDash. Maybe you don't Uber Eats. Maybe you don't Uber. You got to figure it out. But if the, if the go-to is always the go-to you, no, it's just not going to work out like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right. This is, uh, I'm probably going to ask like probably like two, two more, two more, three more of these. It says, I was feeling down and took a trip to the beach. While there, I met a woman who was very supportive. Um, we've been talking a lot and things are getting serious. I just found out she's the ex of my best friend. Man, all these joints is the same exact way. I swear to y'all. Oh, yo, this is crazy. This is how you can tell people are connected because we all go through the same situations in, in different ways. We do. Like, we connected as people because we all go through the same situation in different ways. And the problem, the complexity of the problem always, you know, uh, hampers us the same way. It's always because this person, I was down at a time and I ran into this person and they helped me get through that. Or, you know what I mean? This person was so perfect. They was so great. And, oh, my God, I, I'm, I'm, I'm cool now. And uh, I just found out, yo, they messing with my cousin. Uh, what should I do? Because we already put this person on a pedestal because they helped us through a moment in time when we was at our lowest. So this person to you was like this. So even though you come up to you, like, damn, but this person was doing this. They was messing with this person too while they was messing with me. You know what I mean? I don't want to let that person go because that person helped me get through said, you know what I'm saying, situation. Man, listen, some, some people you in my life for a season, some people you in my life for a reason. A lot of y'all got to understand, yo, you might have just been in my life for the season. The season that I was going through something, that's the season that you was in my life for. There is no other reason for me to continue on, continue through my life. Because you got something else you got going on. Thank you for that, you know what I mean? Because I'm not going to lie. If I'm going through something and I run into a lady and you help me get through that, if you help me get through that, you know what I'm saying? It is not even me to sound selfish. I didn't ask you for your help or your support. You know what I mean? First of all, I'm not even that open to run around and then I'm, I'm just somewhere sitting down and I'm looking all down and I'm, what's going on? And I'm like, let me tell you, stranger, that I've never met and I'm just dropping everything on you and then you, you helping me. So if something like that was happening to me and I found out that, you know what I mean? Yo, she cool, she just that in the third and I'm running somebody and we just, we, we creating this hypothetical situation. I so like, yo, I should date shorty back, you know what I mean? Oh, that's crazy. Well, I ain't moving forward with that then. I can't say I'm moving forward with that because that's something different. If he was like, that's somebody I was dating back X to Y. But in the eighth grade. Oh, you dated in eighth grade? I can't date him. You know what I mean? 30 years from that. No. Nah. So, you know what I mean? But if you actively dating somebody while you help me through something, thank you. Thank you for you know what I mean? your help and support. You know what I mean? If there's anything that you need from me, I'm here because you, you did help me through a, a sad situation. But that's as far as we're going to go. You know what I mean? Um, no, there will be no relationship within this. You know what I mean? Thank you for helping me. I appreciate you helping me. But that's all. You know what I mean? Um, it is what it is, man. And um, I'm not going to lie. That may be the last one, man. That may be the last one that I do. Uh, let me see. I can probably squeeze one in here. One more because we had that 50-minute 50, 50 mark. Um, as long as this is something different, man, I'm, I'm gonna read one more. I recently moved into um, a new apartment and met my neighbor who turned out to be really cool. We started hanging out and I found out they have a shady past. Should I continue the relationship or stay away? Man, all y'all don't, all y'all going through the same thing, man. Y'all, all y'all live in the same community, same block, you know what I mean, same area, man. Um, See, this is why ISO, this is why ISO, you know what I mean, we stopped doing the, the Q&A's. Y'all, y'all, y'all wore my man out. Y'all wore ISO out with the same, just same questions, same situations, man. We here to help, but, you know, a lot of y'all questions is very open-ended. And we just be trying to stretch it out for the, for the, for the sake of content. But a lot of y'all questions are very open-ended. Like, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm close this one out with, uh, stay away. That's point blank period what it is, man. You know what I mean? Um... This is the Earn and ISO show, solo dolo, solo dolo Q and A. Um, I'm not gonna stop these. I'm gonna continue these because there's some of these questions that I didn't answer in here were um, hip hop questions. You know what I'm saying? And uh, some of these questions in here were not just hip hop questions. There were other questions. Um, but I will I will start looking through these a little more, man. Because you know what I mean. We don't we want to become redundant within the Q and A's and. 
the, it, the first question that I asked is similar to the middle question that we asked and similar to the last question that we asked. Because then, you know what I mean, it started, it started to become redundant. But, yo, first and foremost, I do thank y'all. You know what I mean? As always, man, thank y'all for everything that y'all done. Uh, shout out to ISO, you know what I mean, expansion team on their success. Y'all running them numbers up, man. Keep running them up. You know what I mean? We appreciate y'all. Um, I like ISO, like ISO said, uh, Ebony will be home shortly. You know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure y'all, when when that happens, y'all will get it. You know what I mean? Ebony's uh, um, I'm coming home episode. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, any and everybody who ever took part in the earning ISO, you know what I mean, success, man, I thank y'all. I thank y'all as well. Anybody that's ever been on the ISO versus the world podcast, man, I thank y'all as well for helping us get what we got to get, man. You know what I mean? And, uh, Always, you know what I mean, like Big Bro say, you know he get he get he get he get deep and and philosophical. You know what I mean? It ain't you, it ain't me, it's we. All right, whatever, bro. But yo, always earn an ISO show. Peace. You know what I mean? If you don't know, now you know. We out of here, y'all.